Hi guys, and welcome to something completely different, namely Diablo 1. Play a warrior. I'm only going to do first level of the game. <clears throat> the reason for that is uh, I'm not going to continue if you're not interested in watching. How far? Tender fellow drinking peace? No one ever listen <laughs> listens to me. Somewhere, I ain't too sure, but somewhere out of the church, the whole pile of gold gleam shine just waiting for someone to get it. And I'm guessing it's haunted. I got a feeling. Hello, my friend. Stay, Stay a while and listen. listen. The witch, Adria, is an anomaly here in Tristram. She arrived shortly after the cathedral was desecrated, while most everyone else was fleeing. She had a small hut constructed at the edge of town, seemingly overnight, and has access to many strange and arcane artifacts and tomes of knowledge that even I have never seen before. That explains a lot. So let's have a look. Let's meet Adria. No mate. No automate available in town. Mate. 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 No. And here, she, here it is. The shack. I sense a soul in search of answers. Hello, Adria. Earth and walls and thatched canopy do not a home create. The innkeeper Ogden serves more of a purpose in this town than many understand. He provides shelter for Jillian and her matriarch, maintains what life Farnham has left to him, and provides an anchor for all who are left in the town to what Tristram once was. His tavern and the simple pleasures that can still be found there provide a glimpse of a life that the people here remember. It is that memory that continues to feed their hopes for yours. Okay, thank you for that. No rush then. She sells mana, portals, a scroll, portal scrolls. Uh, yeah. And of course, staves or staves. Holy. Raven Staff of Elemental, Mana plus 15, charges 55, damage 4 to 8, durability 35. 24 and a half thousand gold? Are you out of freaking mind, lady? No way I'm gonna pay that much for a freaking staff. I'm glad I'm a warrior. I'm guessing that we'll find something 10 times better in the, in the dungeon. After, well, what can I do for you? Hello, Griswold. Oh, Jillian is a nice lass. Shame that her gamma is in such poor health. Or I would arrange to get both of them out of here on one of the train caravans. Well, I ain't that nice. There's the Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Yeah, good. Thank goodness you... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Normally in the first Diablo game, it's random what happens, what quests you'll have. For example here, if this well was, you know, yellowish, you get a quest from, I think it was Cain or... Uh, the healer, Pippin. Um, 
We had to go, I don't know, second second level in a church to cleanse the evil way and yada yada yada, stuff like that. And uh, you have one quest where Ogden's sign is gone. Also, you have... Okay, this area here, where path ends... This is where the Tom portal ends up. So, uh, if you get a hold of, like, a couple of scrolls of Tom portal, keep them in inventory. There's no need to keep them, you know, um... Lying around in your bar here. Oh! Oh, we're gonna get the butcher quest. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. Left us. He led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. That monster is one tough motherfucker, And you meet him in the second or third level. And like I said, I'm the only gonna do. The of this place has been fouled. Ugh. I'm only gonna do this floor first, and to see if you guys are interested in uh, me doing an LP of this. So if you are, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and share, and keep this project alive. <coughs> As you can see, when you hold a mouse uh, mouse pointer at a certain enemy, if it totally kills, you'll get more information later on. Uh, as many uh, as uh, you kill more of them, you get more information. Like, do they tolerate? Are they immune to magic or not? Stuff like that. Bookcase. Charge bolt. Okay, I'm not gonna use magic unless it's for uh, identify and uh, tom portal. I have one spell, and that's the skill for a pair item. The downside to that is uh, when I use the skill, the durability of the armor, weapon, or whatever you're gonna repair goes down. So it is better to go to uh, Griswold and uh, repair your items there. You might have to pay a little bit, but it's better to pay a, a small sum of gold for 100% uh, uh, durability on the, the uh, item that you repair, and then shorten it, the lifespan of it. <laughs> like that. Ah, level up. This is a warrior. I'm gonna go two strength, two dex, and one vitality. Okay, see, total kills two, and this will be the third one. Okay. Normally, when you start the new game, you start with this club. It's worth. You sell it for like five gold in, uh, at uh, Griswold. Uh, trust me, it's better. It's better that way. Now, in this game... Uh, you'll have to pay Deckard Kane for uh, identifying your items. In Diablo 2, however, you don't have to do that. So you don't need to walk around with a Tome of Identify. Uh, with, uh, like, max amount of scrolls or whatever. So go wherever, go to Decker Kane, and he'll identify every single one of them for free. Also, I do not. Ooh. <laughs> I blew a small axe. Uh, 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 also, I do not have Hellfire, uh, the expansion for this game. So, uh, 
you won't be able to run, uh, which you can do in Diablo 1, the Hellfire expansion. Plus you get a new character, uh, character to play, a monk. Oh, drop the staff of... A staff of... Oh, oh short, blue short staff. Money. Scroll of Inferno. Yeah. Blue X. Blue short staff. This is good. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean off this uh, first level. And then I'm gonna go back into town and talk to Adria and... Whoa! <laughs> Exploding barrels! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna go back into town, talk to Adria, and sell the staff. Uh, also, I need to talk to um, to Deckard Kane to uh, identify the items I have. How much money I get from it. Well, if you're if you're lucky, you get a ton of money. <laughs> so, uh, sarcophagus. Says. <laughs> I remember the first time I played this game and I saw the uh, sarcophagus. I thought it, it was pronounced scar. Scar Scarcophagus. Scar Scar Too much baggage. Oh, already? Huh. Yeah, let's drop this. Let's see where there is. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's the downside. You don't have too much uh, inventory space in your. This game in general. Yeah, short bow. Standard short bow. Not that impressive or important. Perhaps. Okay, you have three classes to choose from in this game. You had a wizard or a magician. You have uh, the rogue. And then we have Warrior, of course, which I'm playing. The Rogue's skill, which you don't really have here, uh, is pick, uh, luck picking and disarm trap. And as you can see here in some of the, uh, like the sarcophagus and the uh, chests that were lying around. Yeah, the fallen ones, they run away when you kill an enemy. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Gotta pawn some of this stuff. Yeah. There we go. Well, so level up. Two more, two more, and one. I gotta do that in, uh, to begin with. Uh, the higher your strength is, the more damage you deal. And, uh... Oh, full healing. That's nice. <coughs> Gonna stand here and just... Heal. Come on. This is a smart idea, trust me. Come on. So because first off, <clears throat> you won't be overwhelmed by enemies running all around you. There we go. Did someone drop the bow? I sound like a yeah, short bow. Ah, just a normal short bow. 
Not that impressive. Fascinating shrine. I'm not sure what it does. Let's see. Intensity comes to the cost of wisdom. Okay. Uh, I don't care because uh, I'm aware. I don't use wisdom. Uh, the hotkey for... Ooh, hello! Uh, the hotkey for characters and inventory is the normal I and C. Oh, a cap! Come on! Go. Next! Bomber. You, uh, you probably saw that the introduction video was kind of shitty. But, well, it's normal when it comes to a really old game from 1996. I'm just impressed that it actually worked. Yeah, 7 out of 15. Yeah. It's armor, nonetheless. So it looks like we have one more room to check out before. Uh, this. Oh, we've got more area we haven't fully explored yet. Also be very careful when it comes to barrels because some of them will explode. <laughs> and if you have low health, don't hit them. Immune magic. Yeah, it has some magical immunity. There's also the zombie as well. Now you don't know what kind of magic. It's immune to. But you'll figure out all. I don't know, after a certain number of kills. And here's the way down to the second level. I'm not gonna go there yet. Heading back to Tune. Let's see. I'm a little bit curious on how much Digger can charges for. Oh look, it's almost 500 gold. Hmm. Charges for the identifying items. Let's see. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Short staff, yes, 100 gold. Dull staff. Okay, it's not that impressive, and it sells for nothing at all. Extra dexterity plus three to dexterity to dexterity, and the other one is plus one to chance to hit. Okay, so we use three hundred gold. Let's see. Plus three to dex or plus one to hit. Uh, two to ten, two to ten, both of two to ten. You know what? I'll let you guys decide. You guys decide what, oh, what, what uh, which of the weapons you? I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna uh, repair the axe of dexterity and. The uh, bronze axe, the cap as well, the short sword, nah, not really because I'm gonna sell it anyways. The buckler, nah, you only have only last one durability. The staff of charged bolts, no, I can't afford repairing it. So I'm gonna head over to Adria and sell. The book of charged bolt I was? Yeah. And the excuse me, and the staffs as well as the uh, scroll of Inferno. 
I get a, at least a little bit of money back from... I sense a soul in search of answers. Let's see. Yeah, it's because it, it, one gold. Ooh. But the bulk of charge bolt is 250 gold, so you get some money for it. And the staff as well. The scroll as well. I'm gonna keep what I have left. So I've got 524 gold. Quite a tiny profit profit of this, of course, uh, even after uh, repairing some of the items. So the durability is max here. As yeah. Okay, guys. So that's it for now. We'll go over to uh, Pepin and just heal up a little bit. What ails you, my friend? There you go. We're still at 524 gold. So that's it for now. I'm gonna save the game here, and when you come back, you'll start ex exactly this point. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, you decide. Which of these two weapons are gonna use it? Plus three to dex or the chance to hit plus one percent. Your decision. And of course your decision if you want me to continue with this let's play. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.